Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Travis. Today we're going to be doing a rambling video. Now, if you're new to the channel, this is where I sit down and I just talk about random things that are going on, not only in the saltwater hobby, but in my personal life, what's going on around me, the world. Maybe I saw somebody, you know, taking a shit on the side of the road on my way to work. I mean, who knows? I, I th These are the kind of things you should expect here in the rambling video. But uh, yeah, speaking of swear words, the uh, <laughs> the video I posted the other day with the uh, the roast rank review my reef the very first episode uh, I think a lot of you guys were mad about that just uh, just based on the dislike ratio I mean I think I think some of you guys got offended uh, maybe because I didn't kiss your ass maybe that was a, maybe that's what it was I mean who knows um, I mean I don't know I don't care it was still a lot of fun to make that video and I'm going to make some more because you guys sent in a ton of like requests like hey look at my shit box maybe you should talk about it well don't worry buddy don't worry i'm gonna i'm gonna talk about it trust me so uh look forward to those episodes coming out and uh we're gonna do probably like three or four and see kind of how it goes if the views uh, justify the time it takes to make the video then uh yeah i'll keep making them just for the sake of uh you know entertaining you guys and uh yeah so let's go ahead and move on with the rambling video here now uh, the very first thing i want to talk about is orders now if you ordered anything from me this month uh there's just a delay okay now uh, i think it might have something to do with that ridiculous sale i did last week uh, during the live stream uh for for swearing and not even not even remotely getting close to 10 minutes by the way i think it was like two minutes in uh, I, I don't know what I said. I mumbled something and then I, you know, I put a 50% discount code. I, I'm sure that had something to do with it. But either way, uh, there is a, a significant delay in orders right now. So if you order something 3D printed, depending on what it is, if it's something like a pump guard or something like that that I already have printed up, then you're going to get that quickly. But if you have some, like a custom order where you're doing different things, different colors, this and that and that and that, uh, there's about a three week waiting period. And uh, that's being generous. Um, now, when it comes to coral, I did take cut to order off the website. I have to take it off the website. The the uh, I'm cutting so much coral from those orders that my I, I literally can't keep my alkalinity stable in the system. So I can't justify the stability of the tank to to have access to those corals uh, to be cut all the time. So we'll see. Uh, we are adding a, an eight foot by three foot by uh, one foot tank tub next week. We are getting that in. I say we. I mean me and my dog and my other four personalities. That's what I mean by we. Uh, I, that's not me farting. That's the seat. That's the chair. <laughs> I'm going to clarify that there. Uh, Fisher Hex is busting ass on the uh, on this uh, video there. It's pretty funny. But uh, anyway, so yeah, it's just me down here. So um, it takes a while to get stuff done. It just does. Um, I, I, can't, I can't say anything other than the fact that it just I have to just do it myself. <laughs> Scott's unable to work for me right now. COVID's a bitch. Can't do anything. Can't get anybody in. And uh, yeah. It takes a certain person to work for me too. You can't. You got to have a certain motivational level. So I can't just go pick some joker off the street to come in and help. It's just not gonna work out. He's gonna piss me off. He's gonna get fired in like a day. It's just. It's just the way it is. So, uh, yeah. You got to have a certain mindset. Uh, prior military would be nice. I think we'll get along pretty well. So, anyway. Uh, I don't know where I was going on that shit. Yeah, orders. So yeah, we are giving away an Apex this month. I think that might have something to do with it as well. Uh, so to enter to win the Apex, you just have to purchase anything from the website. It can be a keychain. It can be anything. It can be one of those dick chains, which <laughs> seem to be pretty popular. People are buying a bunch of 3D printed dicks, uh, and they put them on, on their keys. And, and they got smiley faces too. So, I mean, whatever, whatever you guys like, I guess. Uh, and uh, plenty, plenty more interesting stuff coming in the future now that I've fully learned Fusion 360 and I can create pretty much anything that I can imagine as long as I have the time to sit down and do it. So I'm pretty excited about that. And uh, yeah, so yeah, order wise, it's about a three week delay ish on 3D printing and Coral is about a week to two weeks depending on the weather. And I know there's some stuff going on with Texas right now. And, uh, you know, I'm just having issues with holidays and then being ice storms and all sorts of stuff trying to get orders out. And I really don't like shipping when it's going to be below 30 degrees. I don't like it. Even with 40 hour heat packs, even with these orders that have two 40 hour heat packs, they still can't keep up because it gets so cold that the, the heat pack simply can't outcompete it. And if it gets too cold, it just shuts down altogether and then everything just goes downhill from there. So yeah, uh, it's just kind of the way it is regarding orders. But anyways, I do appreciate all the support. I really do. You guys have been slamming the website. A ton of support. Um, I can't wait for this 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 COVID nonsense to calm down so I can finally... I've been putting money away for another Reef Tanks or Veterans Tank. We weren't able to do one last year because of, of course, COVID. going to uh, clear my throat here. <coughs> Man. 
But uh, speaking of COVID, I'm over here coughing now, just clearing my throat, sucking too much dick. <clears throat> it's all phlegmy. Um, anyway, so we didn't get to do one last year, but we did do one in 2019. Uh, so it just sucks. I missed a whole year. I do have money set aside for a tank when we can finally do it. And hopefully this year, they'll just they'll just stop with the nonsense so I can keep going. So, yeah, we'll see. I might just I might just give up on that and just just have people qualify who don't give a shit about covid <laughs> and then just go i mean yeah i mean i, I don't even know what to do at this point I, i'm sick of just sitting around and not not uh you know giving away the tank like i want to so we'll see i'll let you guys know okay so moving on to some i guess personal stuff we can talk about that i just picked up my quote unquote one of my dream cars it's it's one of a couple so i guess you know they're technically a dream car um i actually uh, got rid of my uh black uh, 370Z Sport, and I traded that in uh, for a um, cherry red, of course, <laughs> uh, 370Z uh, Nismo Tech. So the top of the line, best possible decked out Nismo 370Z that you could possibly get. Um, beautiful car, by the way, beautiful car. Now, I was debating on just passing up the 370Z Tech, the Nismo at least, and going to the brand new Toyota Supra, but I can't stand the front end of that car, and I don't like paddle shifters. I don't like it. Don't want to. No, I want manual, grind the freaking gears, have fun with it. I don't want this paddle shift controller stuff. That's the reason why I haven't bought a GTR, or I, I didn't buy a GTR, because I don't, I just want a, I'm on a manual car. I want the fun manual shifting, you know, having a great time car. I don't want all this computer controlled bullshit. So, <sighs> no Toyota Super for me. I just have to find an older year. Maybe get that 1997. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't know. But I did pass up on it. It was the same damn price. So, I well, no, the Toyota Super was a little bit more. I think it was like 15 grand more. But what the fuck's 15 grand, right? Anyway, I'm just kidding. It's a lot, dude. Uh, I'm not balling over here selling coral. <laughs> I'll tell you that. But uh, I'm doing fine. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I passed up on the Toyota Supra. I don't want the GTR with the fucking paddle shifter. So I went to the Nismo Tech, which, by the way, this car is awesome, man. You would think that the Sport Nismo package would be similar driving of the, or not Nismo package, the Sport package of the standard uh, 370Z would, would drive kind of like the Nismo, right? No, no, it's a totally different car. The Nismo is super uncomfortable. <laughs> you can feel, you feel paint in that damn thing. But I'll tell you, when you take a corner on that, with those bucket seats, that thing doesn't roll at all. Man, it stays planted. So um, love the car. It, it draws a ton of attention from every fucking cop. Uh, so that's fun. You know, whatever, right? Um, and uh, in June, the guys from the club are going to drop a stage one or maybe stage two turbo into it. Um, already got it out. Already got ready to go. Um, we're just going to do it when the weather's, weather is better. And... Um, yeah, I mean, I was gonna say it looked like a sleeper, but it doesn't look like a sleeper. It looks faster than it actually is um, right now. So the turbo will hopefully match what it looks like uh, in June. But I'm looking forward to that. Uh, I like the car. I'm used to all-wheel drive, to be honest with you. I, I'm more of a uh, an all-wheel drive Volvo kind of guy, uh, Lancer kind of guy. Um, this whole rear uh, rear wheel drive thing is. Uh, it's a whole nother animal, I'll tell you that. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be practicing some drifting, have some fun, and uh, just got to wait for the weather to get better because obviously all this snow and ice is not uh, not ideal for that, right? But, uh, yeah, moving on to some other personal stuff. I uh, after Finally, after 11 years, after 11 years, I'm finally going to be going back to my Brazilian Jitsu classes. They start up again next week. I am unbelievably excited. I've been looking around at a couple other um, uh, classes, and I just needed something that would fit my schedule. So it's going to be two or three days a week. I'll find out exactly uh, what the schedule is going to be next week. <clears throat> but um, so I did two years. I did two years of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu already, and uh, I'm and it, like I said, that was what. Uh, almost 11, what year is it? Uh, okay, maybe almost 12 years ago, something like that. So it's been a long time. I haven't uh, I haven't exercised those skills in a very, very long time. And I can't just go, you know, wrestle people at the gym. <laughs> That's not very appropriate. So, um, yeah, so I'm really excited to get back to the classes. I'm going to start with the fundamentals again, and I'm just going to progress my way up like I did before. Uh, super excited. It's a great way to, uh, you know, it's a great uh, stress reliever. And, uh, you know, it's always fun getting punched in the face. <laughs> I'm just saying it. I, I enjoy having fun with that stuff. Um, and uh, really looking forward to starting those back up next week. Um, other personal stuff. Yeah, a lot of, um, I guess, personal stuff, personal growth. Um, I've been taking a lot of classes on Skillshare.com. Now, I should have asked them if they want to sponsor this video to get a promo code. But anyway, um, I've been doing a lot of stuff on Skillshare. 
um, a lot of like organizational stuff, um, you know, ways of thinking, proper mindset about certain situations and a way to deal with problems and a way to progress through a business and all sorts of stuff. And I did a lot of Fusion 360 courses on there before I took the official one. And uh, yeah, I just, I've been using this program. It's like a hundred bucks a year or something like that. And I've been just taking courses up the wazoo, usually in the evening, like right now at 1030 while I'm recording this video. And uh, yeah, instead of doing that, I decided to do the video today. But um, yeah, been taking a lot of courses on Skillshare and Trust me, if you guys are looking for like personal growth, or you're just looking to learn something new, then, uh, you know, just uh, I'm over here sniffling um, Skillshare. Check it out. I know that I did an a, uh, organizational course on there, which was awesome. I'll tell you right now, I really helped kind of focus my mind on, you know, being productive through the day. So really, uh, really look forward to that. OK, so another personal thing that I've been working on consistently, and it's actually been going since October, and that is going to the gym every day at least at least six days a week i try to take one day off um you know depending usually after leg day because i can't walk the next day so it's, it's a perfect time to not go to the gym but uh yeah i uh, i gained a whole bunch of weight over the last few years uh i don't say last two or three years i would say maybe that maybe yeah i guess two or three um <clears throat> and uh i guess really to be honest with you guys when i get stressed out or i'm not happy or i'm just not you know doing what i should be doing I tend to eat, uh, and eating has always been something that I've done my whole life to kind of uh, feel better, and I'm still guilty of it now. I still do it, but um, <laughs> I just do. Like, if I'm having a bad day, I'm like, you know what sounds good? A couple large pizzas. That sounds great. I think I'll eat those and then pass out because my blood sugar. <laughs> sounds like a great great time, man. You know, some people get drunk and sleep with strippers. I just eat pizza and pass out on my couch. So, what else? you know, I guess we all have our own, our own crutches. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Speaking of strippers, no, we're not going to talk about that. We'll save that for another video. Uh, fuck, man. Anyway, uh, yeah. <clears throat> I lost train of thought. And I was thinking of strippers. Fuck. What was I talking about? Uh, gym. Yeah, gym. I think I saw a stripper at a gym. At the gym. You know something? Fucking strippers. I'm not talking about strippers. Moving on. Focus, Travis. Focus. Okay. The gym is great. <laughs> I'm losing a bunch of weight now. I'm finally down to about, a, about 210 pounds. I was up to like 245 I have a six pack at 195. So I mean, I know I'm five eight, but I'm I guess I don't know. I guess I just got a big ass. I don't know. Um, so I get pretty lean at about 200 pounds. I, I I'm kind of lean at 200 pounds. Um, six pack again about 195. So um, I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, you know, I, I I like picking things up and I like putting things down. Um, it's pretty good. Get to meet people, socialize. It's always fun. Um, I was thinking about uh, well, I'm always trying to do extra things. Um, one of the uh, people at the gym was, uh, you know, talking to me about starting up my personal training again there. But I used to do that back in the day before I got into reefing. Um, I used to be a personal trainer at a gym for a while and had a great time with that. But uh, I just don't have the time. I can't do it. Um, for one, I don't want to get up that early. And two, I don't think I can with, you know, with every, everything going on. I just, there's just no way I can squeeze in or, you know, squeeze in a couple extra hours to just do, do a side job. I just don't think that's going to happen. So uh, they'll have to wait until I, uh, you know, figure something out. But um, yeah, really love the gym. It's great stress reliever. Uh, feel a lot better. Um, losing the weight, of course, I could fit in clothes that I haven't fit in for a long time. Uh, self confidence, of course, goes up with that. And, uh, you know, self confidence breeds uh, productivity, it breeds, um, you know, uh, I guess, in general, holding yourself holding your head up while you're in public and you know not looking down feeling gross about yourself so it, it all feeds into positive positivity positivity in the life so uh you know uh you know the gym is a good thing so i'm glad i'm doing that again so i think that's it for personal stuff um let's go to move on to how long is this video what are we 14 minutes in let's see i'll see what else we can talk about Okay, so I guess the last thing we can talk about is, I guess, the future plans for the business and for uh, this YouTube channel. Now, um, I haven't got really any major issues with YouTube other than the fact that, you know, I get videos demonetized. Sometimes I go off the rails with swearing and all sorts of stuff. So it, it's bound to happen. So I'm, I got to try to be a little bit better about that. Um, and I know a lot of you guys get offended about it. And plus, swearing is just kind of a, it makes you sound ignorant. So, you know. <laughs> it, it, come, come on man i got i got a persona i gotta keep up here man i gotta i gotta you know i gotta be that guy right no i'm just kidding no i just it depends sometimes it comes out sometimes it doesn't so i gotta figure that out but um as for the youtube channel i just plan on creating content when i can um you know when i have downtime like this 
or I just want to like maybe take a break off from, break from taking a class and then maybe create a random rambling video or a roast my reef video or even we got side projects like the new tank coming in and stuff like that. Um, you know, I'm going to create content when I can and, and hopefully stay consistent with that stuff. So you guys have, you know, uh, you know, somewhat uh, entertaining, you know, content or whatever the heck you guys consider my stuff to be. But um, actually, I have people saying that they listen to me to fall asleep. <laughs> I had I had a had a female tell me that she listens to me when she's trying to sleep, try to fall asleep at night. And uh, it's not every night. I guess maybe it's just, you know, whatever. But uh, I don't know if I should be offended by that or I don't know. I don't know what to think about that. Like, is it just like my voice or am I that fucking boring? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I just took it as that's cool. Let me see your tits. No, I'm just kidding. I didn't say that. I'm going to do I'm going to do it now, though. Is she on Instagram? I don't know. Fuck it. I'm not going down there. Speaking of that, nope, not bringing her up. There's apparently apparently strippers. Again, we're going to talk about strippers. Strippers are back on Instagram. I'm not going to promo this lady, but uh, damn, COVID. You're shutting down all the strip clubs, and now these bitches are coming on Instagram in the reefing community. It's just... It's just not nice. Let me let me just keep going and finish this damn video up. Um, fucking strippers, man. Every damn time I try to talk about something. Fuck. Anyway, um, yeah, the YouTube channel, I'm just going to create content. <laughs> I'm just going to create content, stay consistent with that stuff, and move forward. As for the business, right now, I got to get seven more 3D printers. Uh, my goal is just I'm going to... I'm bringing in seven bone stock Ender 3s uh, and then, um, of course, the Ender 5 Plus, And then I'm going to deck them out just like I did with the other ones. Uh, it just might take a little while, but I'm going to still print with them basic stuff that are, is just easy to print, doesn't require a lot of leveling. It's just something that can, it can do over and over and over again to keep up with orders. And, um, yeah, so we're going to have 22 printers, 22 printers in one year. I just started, was it? I think Andrew, Andrew, what was it? March, January, February, February or March of last year of 2020 is when I started selling 3D printed stuff on the website. We had one printer. Now I've, I'm going to have 22 before the end of next month. 22. That's crazy, right? And these are just, I mean, they're cheap as in their base. Like they start off at $250, whatever, whatever stock under three is, whatever you get them on Amazon or whatever. But they're all upgraded. Well, they will be all upgraded to, you know, approximately $1,000 a piece. And man, do they work. They work. I mean, I have a printer right now, or at least three printers right now, that have not even gone down for maintenance in five months. They have not turned off for more than at least an hour before they kick back on for another thing for five months. I mean, I'm talking about workhorses. And uh, and it's awesome because I got a ton of orders. I got a ton of orders. And I'm not mad. I really like it. I just I just want to print faster for you guys so I don't feel bad about uh you know, holding you guys up for three weeks. But uh, other than that, um, expanding the printing as much as I possibly can while I'm here. We got another year here, year here. Yeah, we got another year at this townhouse. And then uh, I'm going to be moving to the new house. I can't wait. I can't wait. Um, and then, uh, you know, we got the new tub coming in. So I am adding 115 gallons of grow out to the system while we can. And uh, yeah, that's about it. I'm still working on coral stuff, guys. I know there's a lot of stuff out of stock. And all I can tell you is I'm sorry. I, I don't know. I'm sorry. I, I mean, I got to take pictures of stuff. I got to put it on there. Um, yeah, uh, maybe I can maybe I can talk one of my other personalities into, you know, working for me part time or something. But uh, yeah, it's uh, I'm doing the best that I can with what I got. So anyway, that's about it for this video. We are almost 20 minutes in. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Had a little laugh here and there. Uh, had a little bit of more of an insight of maybe a different side of me. If you if the first video you ever saw of me was the roast my reef video, uh, maybe this will kind of uh, balance things out. Who knows? But uh, I don't know. With all the stripper talk, probably not. Nah, fuck it. You know, I don't even care at this point. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, let me know. Feel free to give the video a thumbs up and go over to fishofhex.com. Purchase something so you can win an Apex. I mean, why not? And then you'll be supporting the channel as well. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.